I I will not even deny the fact that I think when, when like that that there is some amount of privilege that people can see uh when I go in with my short and and red hair uh you know no matter how um uh, how um uh, like how eastern my outlook is in terms of the clothes that I'm wearing like like they know you're not from there um yeah. and you have to be comfortable with it honestly like yeah. you don't have to if you're going to a to an area that is extremely underprivileged and people see you as a privileged person um uh, then there's no point like trying to like declass yourself yes you have to like have basic tamiz to to interact with people and to sit mm-hmm. with them and to eat with them but you can't also pretend to be something that you're not um and i think that also comes with time like that comfort with yourself but also that comfort with like of that comfort of being who you are with other people while also respecting others and trying to sort of trying to be like them in some ways um or trying to be comfortable with what's happening in their space i think goes a long way it also i think comes with practice but you also i would say like you can't absolutely get overwhelmed by by the class disparity of it because yeah. if you do that you will easily get paralyzed um mm. uh, which is something that a lot of uh, younger people i think are going through these days because there's so much like uh, discourse that happens online and on twitter and who gets to make a film etc cetera, etc cetera, that you have to be mindful of all of that questions but if you think you're doing the right thing you absolutely cannot stop yourself from from doing it because somebody will somebody has to tell the story they will still try to use like older ways of interacting with with people of color uh especially if you are just a pakistani or just an indian if you don't have a hyphenated personality like pakistani american pakistani canadian pakistani british uh somehow i think i mean i'm not going to say that that's common like across uh, across the board but i would say that i think some people are yet to realize that we will make sure that we will ask for our rights because we know what our rights are now uh that may not have been true 10 years ago but uh, you know hum bade ho gaye you know hum bacche bade ho gaye and all the discourses that you are reading to improve the uh, the the environment in your own newsrooms or in your own production houses we are also reading the same research paper so it's not like this information is lost on us i really i think am uh, am surprised by sometimes the double standards of how um how like the most woke filmmakers uh in their own countries to their own people who all have the same passport will still come in and try to like uh try to see if their old behaviors can fly um and it and hurts the most is... when people of color are doing the same you know yes. it's just like wow, wow will you why will you not pay me the same budget that that you have actually accounted for in your excel sheet yeah. why will i work for this these many dollars as a dp when i know that your fee for a dp is twice uh, yeah what you are trying to ask me to do it for when you're less experienced or when you're newer in the field you think that even working with someone who has a slightly problematic outlook of your country is fine because you know do mahine ka kaam hai ho jayega कर लेते हैं पैसे भी मिल जाएंगे बट देन आफ्टर अल लाइक यूर लाइक यू यू स्टार्ट बिलीविंग नथिंग इज वर्थ योर मेंटल पीस एंड नथिंग इज वर्थ अडली टोल्ड स्टोरी यू नो नथिंग इज वर्थ पीपल कमिंग इन टू योर कंट्री और योर रीजन एंड टेलिंग अ स्टोरी दैट इज नॉट ट्रू बिकॉज पीपल लाइक इवन ऑडियंसेज नाउ आर वेरी 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 स्मार्ट आई मीन नॉट लाइक दे वर नॉट स्मार्ट बिफोर बट they are smarter than ever before and they have social media to voice their opinions so if you've made a shit film which has no nuance or which talks about something that really quite doesn't exist and they can see that the scenes may be looking staged or a bit like half staged something they will like you will see all of that pan out in the comments so people like will know okay what is a garbar film and what is a nuanced film and the responsibility of having nuance in our films that come out of our own region lies on us um and the quicker we realize it it's 
uh, like it's better um some people will still like some people may not be from here but they will still strive to have more nuance um but those who don't want it can get away with it we can't get away with it we have to live here we have to tell our people stories and the more um gray instead of black and white films we make the better it's going to be for for us i think